Hello, hello. I have another puzzle for you uh, today, but first I have to issue a huge apology to Marty Sears for totally flubbing his puzzle on Tuesday. Uh, I feel especially bad because this is the second puzzle that I featured of his in a row where I've made a mistake in the logic. Uh, and this one I think is much worse than the last one. So I want to show you, um, I want to show you what, what you should have done uh, to really solve this puzzle. This is, this is actually pointed out to me by um, common, a commenter, I'm going to totally butcher their name, so I'm sorry. Um, I would say Masplebin, maybe it's Masplebin or M.A. Splebin or, yeah, uh, sorry, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to pronounce your name, but, but they, um, they pointed out that I made a really silly mistake. Um, it's actually similar to uh, another mistake that I made in a puzzle that I didn't um, that I didn't post to the channel because of this mistake, and I, I couldn't. It, that time when I made the mistake, um, it turned out to be the wrong digits, and so I broke the puzzle. And I, for a while, I couldn't figure out the mistake I made, so I didn't post the video. Um, I did eventually find it, but, but whatever. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. Um, but that was also a Marty Sears collaboration puzzle. So uh, somehow Marty Sears has my number, and I uh, and I cannot figure out his puzzles. But anyway, I went back through, made sure. You know, I, I made sure how you're supposed to solve this puzzle. I'm going to show you what I believe is the intended logic. I actually haven't talked to Marty about it. He's much too kind to tell me that I made a mistake. Um, but I will, uh, I will, I'll, I'll go through what I think is the intended path here. So um, first of all, this one through the, the logic I did to place these yellows, as far as I can tell, is correct, and that places a one, three, or eight here. Now the mistake that I made on this German whisper, so for some reason, I don't seem to have this mistake when I, this, this trouble in my brain when I do this on my own, but for some reason when I'm solving puzzles live, um, I make a mistake on these German whispers pretty often. And for some reason I thought that this one, three, eight restricted this to either two or nine, which is, you know, which is which is nothing. It doesn't make any sense. I can very clearly at this point put either a six or seven here with this one. That could be the end um, of of the line, and that would be no problem. So, uh, so that's that's all possible here. Um, now, uh, there is a step. I so the, the the mistake I then made, which actually made this really bad is I was able to eliminate two as a possibility here by saying that a two had to be on this, which I, I believe is actually still correct. So this can't be two because I need it on this palindrome line. And so this can't be eight anymore. But without this six or seven possibility, that would place a nine here, which reveals much too much of the fog and tells me a lot of information that I shouldn't have yet. So what am I supposed to do here? Well, this isn't necessarily what you need to do right now, but you actually can place an eight here because eight can't go on this palindrome line, because it can't go up there, and it can't go in this eight cage. So eight is gonna have to go here. Um, and that much more easily uh, reveals that this has to be a two cell eight cage. And as I did in the video, you can place a one here because you can't put a one on uh, this 44 cage. And now from here, this can no longer be a one, which makes this a seven, which makes this a two, but actually eliminates seven as a possibility from here. This seven makes this a four, which reveals this cage uh, totally, so I don't need those reminders anymore. This now needs to be a three, it can't be one or two, it can't be four because it has two, um, two digits coming off of it, so that has to be a three with an eight, nine pair. Uh, that makes this a four, five, six triple. I need five on the parity line to make it work, I can't have four, six here. So that's not five. It's also not four. So that's a six, making this a four, five pair. Um, now from here, uh, what do I put here? Uh, this has to be a one, it has to be a low digit because of this eight or nine. It can't be four, it can't be two or three. So this has to be a one. That reveals this whole 14 cage. Uh, I'm gonna delete the coloring here because I, I can now see this cage. And this now has to be a 6-8 pair because I can't have a 5-9 pair, the 5's taken. That makes this a 9. Uh, this one makes this a 7. And this becomes an 8. What do I have left in this cage? Uh, I need a 7, which can't go on the top, so that's the 7. 
I need two, three, and five here. But the five can't go there. That leaves four and nine left in those two cells. This can no longer be a four because the green line no longer goes up. So this can't be a four now. Um, this could still be seven, eight, or nine. And at this point now, I can think about these diamonds and do something similar to what I did in the video, but not, um, not quite as nice. Uh, sorry, what I did in the video is not quite as nice. Um, so what I have here are, I have these two diamonds, which tell me something about the number of lines left in the fog. This red diamond tells me how many red lines there are, and this purple diamond tells me how many red bands there are. Now, this one means I know there's exactly one purple red band. Where does it go? Somewhere in these five cells that I can't see. Now remember that the lines can't cross each other, so I can't do, and they can't go diagonally, right? So I couldn't do something like this, or like this, or like this, or like this, right? So um, I basically have five more cells in which I can place lines. Mm -hmm. And since each line, I mean, I guess in theory you could have a one length line, but I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm just gonna eliminate that as a possibility. I, I don't think that makes much sense um, because it wouldn't be a line, it'd just be a point and there'd be no restriction. So, uh, so assuming that the lines are all length two at least, I can't, uh, I can have at most two more lines in these five cells because they can't cross each other. Now, one of these is a Ren band line which means I have at most three red lines. So this is at most three and it's at least two. So this is two or three, and that gives me this two, three pair, making that a one. Uh, I guess this can't be eight. This cell now can't be three um, for two reasons, I guess. So that is either one or eight. It can't be one either because this cell repeats here on the palindrome line. So this is an eight. And now I actually see, so that's repeated there. This is not an eight. Now I actually see, I have one Ren band palindrome line, which has to go, not sorry, not palindrome, one Ren band line, which has to go right here. That's the only place in the fog it could possibly go. Um, and I have no more places to put red lines. So this becomes a two, a three, that places the twos here. And this is either five, six, or seven. Um, now from here, I can do some logic uh, here. Um, actually, I can see that this has to be, these have to be a four, six pair. And I know how it goes. So that's six, that's four, that's nine, make this seven. Uh, I probably know what these digits are now, right? That's two or five, so that's five and two. This has to be a, six. Uh, of course it has to be a six because of the palindrome line. Uh, these are the same digit. I think you can get a hidden single here at this point, right? Because these three digits are one, three, and nine, uh, but three and nine are taken here. So that's a one, which puts a one here like that. Uh, these three digits are two, four, and eight. Two is not there. So two has to go in the cage. What goes here? These are five, six, and seven. Six has to go on the palindrome, uh, sorry, on the parity line. So it can't go here. Now, where does eight go? I can no longer put eight in the 13 cage because if I do, the minimum I can make the other cells are five and two, which would add up to 15, which is too big. So I can't put eight here. Eight has to go here. This two, four is six, making this a seven. So this is now a five, six line. Uh, what do I put here? This has to be, oh, sorry, this six makes this seven, six, this now has to be, um, I guess I don't know which way that is yet, do I? Let's see, this is not a one. So this is a three, five pair, making these sevens. That's a one. Uh, these have to be four and nine, but I know how they are oriented and I know how the six, eight is oriented. Uh, and then the final kind of step here, uh, I guess I know the three, five, two. The final step here is putting these two digits here, uh, which are a three, four pair, and seeing this Ren band line and saying, that, okay, well then this has to be a four and three for that to make it work. Um, and as, sorry, I'm gonna say Moss Clubbin again, pointed out, uh, that is 
That is the peekaboo. That's the real peekaboo. I thought that all of these lines popping up are the peekaboo, but that is the real peekaboo. You finally fill out the fog. Um, you get this last random man line that you knew had to be there from the one diamond. Uh, and when, when we finish the puzzle, it'll say something like, um, you found the hidden random man line. Uh, and, and that's what that message means. And that is so much more beautiful than what I did. Uh, so again, big apologies. Uh, we can just fill this out. Nine, three. Uh, this 4 makes us 5, 4, makes us 5, 6, 2, 4, that's a 9. Uh, what do we have left here? We need 6 and 5, so let's go like that. So that is how you finish the puzzle, um, and, uh, you know, let me just check to make sure that's right. Yeah, okay. Um, so that is the way it's supposed to go. So again, a big thank you to Marty for the puzzle, and sorry for butchering it. Um, but that is not the puzzle that I have today. Today's puzzle is by Viking Prime, and it is this puzzle, Systolic Pressure. So uh, it has kind of a, a long, complicated rule set, um, but it's not actually complicated. It's a little bit long, so my box here is a bit long, um, but it's not that hard. So I've got cages, which we've seen a bunch. Cages, um, you can't repeat digits in cages, which is only going to matter for this 22 cage. And the digits in the cage add up to whatever number is in the top left corner. I have between lines, which I don't think, I don't think I've had between lines on the channel yet. But between lines uh, are um, a restriction in which all the digits on these lines have to be strictly between uh, the digits in the circles that connect that they're connected to. And by strictly, I mean they can't be the same. So, for example, if this were a one and this were a nine all the digits on these lines would have to be between 2 and 8. So that is how that would that would work. Um, whereas if this were something like, say, 3 and 7, all of these digits would have to be 4, 5, and, or 6. Um, and then I have these counting restrictions. So I've got orange circles and blue circles. The orange circles are modular counters. So uh, by modular counters, I mean take uh, divide all the digits 1 to 9 into three modular groups. So what is their um, remainder mod 3? And you get three groups. You get a 1, 4, 7 group, a 2, 5, 8 group, and a 3, 6, 9 group. And the blue digit is going to count how many of that type of digit are on the line, including the circles. So if this were a 3, then I would need three digits that were from the group 3, 6, and 9 in these cells. That's what that would mean. And the orange circles are entropic counters, meaning they're going to count how many of the same size group. So the, the entropic size groups typically, in, in, in this puzzle in particular, are low, meaning 1, 2, or 3, medium, 4, 5, or 6, or high, um, 7, 8, or 9. So if this were, say, a 5, that would mean there are 5 digits that are in the medium entropic group. So it needs some fours or sixes uh, around this ring, including the circle, to, to make that work. So those are the rules. Uh, let's see what we can do with it. So my immediate eye is drawn to these cages because I can fill them in kind of, right? This 24 cage has to be, there's three digits in it, so it has to be maximal, seven, eight, nine. This six, did, six cage has three digits, so it has to be minimal, one, two, three. Can't have anything bigger than that because that would be that would make this cage too big. Um, this can't be nine because it's on a between line, which means one of these is quite high. One of these is either an eight or nine, um, and it's not this one because seven eight nine is taken here. So this is either eight or nine, and this is relatively small. Um, can this be eight? No. Yeah, no, this can't be 8. If this were an 8, something would have to break. So if this were an 8, first of all, this would have to be 7. But more importantly, this 8 in an entropic group would mean I would need 8 digits that are all really high. In fact, they'd all, they'd all be 7, because I couldn't put 9 on this line. If 8 is on the circle, I can't put 8 on the line either. So I would need 8 digits that were high, including this one, and the only other high digits that are possible are seven 
on this. And the most number of sevens I could put, I could put one here, one here, that's two, a third here, a fourth here, a fifth here, that's it. This eight would mean a sixth high digit, but that's not eight high digits. So this can't be eight, this has to be a nine. Um, so what is this? So that means that I, so I have nine high digits. So where do the high digits go? Not here. So I can have a high digit here, that's one, not here, here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are all high digits, which means they're seven or eight. These are all high digits, they're seven or eight. Um, and these are pairs. These I don't know how they are oriented. Right, they could both be sevens, both be eights, or one of each. And this is less than that. Okay, so what can this digit be? Uh, this can't be one. So for, I'm just gonna, it's some lowish, lower medium digit. It can't be one. And it can't be one because uh, how many sevens do I at least have? Or, and eights. I have at least three sevens and three eights because of these paired digits. So if I have at least three sevens and eights, I can't put a one here because I'd have one, at least three sevens, that's four from that modular group. I can't have a one there. I could have a four there though, where I could have four, these are sevens, the rest are eights, and then that would have to be five or six. So four works. What about two? Two doesn't work for two doesn't work for the same reason one doesn't work because I have two. I need at least three eights. So that's four from that modular group already, which is more than two. So I can't have a two. Uh, but I could have five, right? Five, a second eight, or a second member of that group, a third member of that group, a fourth member member of that group. One of these could be eight, and this could be six. That's okay. So five, four and five work. Three works, right? Three, nine, that's two. The last one I have to go here, it have to be a six. But that works. Um, but this is four, five, or six, I guess. Um, but that means this can't be six. Well, it can't be six for the modular group reason, but more simply, what would I put here if this were a six? It'd have to be seven or eight, but those are all taken. So this is not six. It's three, four, or five. Um, I can't see a reason that any of those don't work. Let's see, if this is three, that's six. If that's four, it's either. If that's five, that's six, actually. So this can't be four, because if this were four, this would have to be three, but that would break the modularity. So that's not four, it's five or six. It's a little bit, a little bit more I can squeak out of this. Um, yeah. Because if this is three, I can't say anything about those. Those could be whatever. Yeah, I don't think I can say anything more about this line. Uh, what about this long line? I mean, I'm drawn to the long lines because there's just generally, there's generally more you can do with long lines, but I mean, this line crosses so many boxes. These actually don't have to be that far apart, right? I mean, this could be three, four, five, four, five, four, five, or six or something. Um, and this 22 cage doesn't give me much either. I mean, there's still going to be something about this wrapping around this cage, but I don't see it yet. Um, actually, because of these counters, maybe the short lines are pretty restricted. Yeah, so what do I put in the circles here? Because these count, these circles count something about these, this line. And so the, this has to be one, two, or three in the circles because the most the most either of these can be most either of these can be is three and that would mean every digit on the line has whatever property this is and for that to work on a between line it has to be one and three in the edge and two here um i wrote it down but i'm just making sure i'm not missing something yeah that feels that feels good yeah, that, that's the only way that works. So that's a two, these aren't. That's a two, these are one, three. Uh, and I know which way it goes, right? Because there are three, I know exactly how many of each kind. I, I know this is a one, two, three, triple. So I know that there is one from each modular group and three from the small group. So this, there's, the entropy counter is three and the modular counter is one. And that sets this. Um, these one, two, threes make a one, two, three triple here in the column. This can't be a one. 
on the between line. Um, let's see, these are four, five, six in some order. The other, uh, I see, I need a nine here somewhere. Yeah, I got a nine, not on the line. So I got a nine here somewhere and a nine here somewhere. I get a one here somewhere. I get a two and a three down here. Um, now let's think about that. that I'm, I don't think I don't think that's the way. How does this work now? Um, well, this can't be one because I would have a second small digit here and that would break the entropy counter. So it's at least two. If it's two, I get two, three, and the rest are medium or high. This has to be pretty big. Right, how many cells is this on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if, if either of these are a nine, then everything has to be that. I don't think that's, that definitely doesn't work here because this is small. Um, can it work here? Can everything be three, six, or nine? So if this is a nine, everything has to be three, six, or nine. This has to be three, no, that would break. So this can't, neither of these can be nine. And one of them has to be fairly low, right? One of them has to be less than three. So there's a one or a two in one of these. This can't be one. So if, if the small, if orange is small, it's two. If blue is small, it's one or two. And what's the big number, right? Because this is at least four or five. So the big number is at least six, right? Because the smallest I can make these a four or five pair because of this one, two, three. So I need a number that's at least six here. And we said we can't have nine in either one of those. Can I have eight in either one of those? Um, how would an eight modular group work? Right, I would need eight. If this were eight, this would have to be low, so it would be two. That would be three. That could be the only non um, two, five, eight group because there are nine cells here. If this is an eight, all but one would have to be two, five, or eight. Eight, two, so those would both be eight or two. This would be three, which is not. So the rest would have to be between two and eight. That would be five. I need five everywhere else. It doesn't work. So that can't be eight. How about this one? If this is eight, this is low, and this is low. So I'd have two lows, I, and there are only seven more digits have high. So that's not eight either. Um, if, could it be seven? If it's seven, these are both low. So the rest would all have to be high, but what high digits could I put if seven is the max? Because I can't put, I can I mean, even if I could put sevens, that would break because they'd all be sevens. So that's not seven. Can this be seven? If this is seven, neither of these would be in the one, four, seven group. So the rest would have to be, I couldn't put ones, they'd have to all be fours. So that's not seven. One of these is six, which is a bit surprising given all the logic I just did. I'm surprised I can somehow fit six of one of those. Um, but I'm not sure which one's not, which one's more likely to not be six. Maybe the mediums? No, maybe this. Um, could I have six mod six groups? So I wonder if, that, if this were six, this would have to be two. This would be three. So that'd be two of my mod, of my three, six, nine group. The other four would have to all be threes. Because I couldn't have six, six, it couldn't have sixes because of the between line, or nines because of the between line. So the rest would have to be. Th I need four more threes. How, where do, I can't fit four more threes here, right? If this, if this is six, that's three. I need four more threes, but not here, because of this three. Not here because of this three. Not here, here because of this three. Not here. There's only one more spot even for a three. So that's not six. That's six. So how do I get six medium digits here? These have to be medium and less than six. So those are four and five. I mean, just by the, the between line, that's just four or five. So that's three medium digits. That's medium, same reason. One, two, three are taken, that's four or five. So that's three taken, four. I need two more between three digits, which seems okay. Um, Yeah, I don't, I don't know that I can say more. I don't see a reason this can be low. Or if this were low, I could have four or five here. If this is low, I get four or five here, which puts four or five here. 
I think it's okay. I don't see a problem with that. That makes it six. Yeah, I think it's okay. And I think it's even easier to put four or five here with a low than a four or five. Um, maybe I can say something about the modularity here. So can this be two? If this is two, oh no, it can't be one. If this is one, I need to have a four here. And so I get two from the one, four, seven group. So that's, this can't be one, that's two. And then this is my, I need a five here in one of those cells. And that's my second from the two, five, eight group. So there are no more fives. So everything else, uh, so this is three, because it'll be higher than two. Everything else, one of these is a five. Everything else is three or four, because there are no more fives because of this modular counter. And everything else, because of this between line, everything is three, four, or five. One of the fives is here. That's not five, that's four. That's not five, that's four. This is a three, four, five. That's three, that's four, five, four. Hopefully that made sense. That's a six by this five. Um, I feel like I did a bad job explaining that. So let me just real quickly try that again. Wait, that has to be a two. By the between line logic, these three cells have to be three, four, or five, because they have to be between two and six. By the counter logic, I need exactly two digits from the two, five, eight group. Here's one. I need a five here, so that's the second. So there nothing, there's nothing more from two, five, eight. So none of these can be five anymore. That makes, and then um, this has to be three by the um, between line logic, and then everything else can just fall from there. For some reason that seemed better, even though I think I said the exact same thing. Um, those aren't three, that's not two. Um, let's see for a second. I'm just gonna delete that so I can see the 22 cage better. So these three cells are essentially a 21 cage without a four in it um, and without a six in it. So this is five, seven, nine. That's a five. That's seven and nine. It's the only way to make 21 and three digits without a four or six. So what are these digits? I need an eight in this row, but not there. So that's an eight. And then I need one and two here which means these are from three, four, five, but three, four are taken here, so it's a five. Um, that's a seven now because of this eight. Does that do something here? Uh, seven, I now have one, two, three, four, at least four sevens. So if that's a four, I'd have four and four sevens in that group. That's five in that group, which would break that. So that's the three, that's the four. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't tell me anything about that cell. But I mean, I think that's going to be enough. Um, at this point, I think it's just Sudoku. Yeah. So hopefully I'll be able to do it. Uh, th I need a three somewhere. Not there. Um, no, it's not helpful. Okay. Once, let's, I like, to, so I need one in here. Uh, actually, sorry, two, one. One is in one of those spots. Any of those or those. Uh, twos. Here. Here. Uh, here. So that's not a two, and that is. Threes. Uh, one of those. Mm, this one now. And then this one. So those are all threes. That's a two. Which means that's a two. Uh, right, I have all nine twos now. I have all nine threes now. Fours. One of those. Oh, those aren't four. That's four. Um, this is seven, eight, nine. Get back to fours. Uh, four is one of those, one of those. Yeah, so I'm gonna get this kind of bent. Four is possibility. Uh, fives, oh, not much to go on. Oh, but I can play some. Five, five, five. Uh, one of these has to be a five because I get an X wing on fives there. Um, five here, 
five here has just too many choices. Six is ooh, six, six. Actually, I get a six here. Uh, no, it's not, not, I could have a six here. Hold on, let me try that again. Six, yeah, no, sorry. Six, one of those. Uh, in fact, six definitely not here. So where does six go in uh, row nine? Can't go there or here, so it has to go here. These remaining two digits are five and nine, but I see a five. Um, what, I need a one somewhere. I need a one in one of these spots and a four in one of these spots. Sorry, where does one go? Where does one go in the column? Not here, not here. One has to go here. Now where does four go in the column? Not here, that's a four. So this is nine, because it's seven, eight, or nine, and seven, eight are taken. So that's, oops, that's nine. I need four, five, and six here somewhere. Six can't be there, so it's here. Uh, what is this digit? Seven or eight. This is also seven or eight, and I need also a nine. But nine is not here, so that's the nine. How are these seven eights going to resolve? Um, I don't know, I'm sure they will. Uh, I need a four somewhere. Four is there. I need a five and a six somewhere here. So that's a six. This is a one five pair. That's five and six. Uh, and I see from here that's five, so that's one and five. One goes here, so one goes here. Uh, this is a six, seven pair. I can't, because these three digits are six, seven, and nine. Nine is here, so that's a nine. That's an eight, that's a seven. That can't be. Um, this is now an eight, so that's a nine, that's a seven. I need here, what, I need an eight and a six. Uh, but I get nothing, I don't know how that goes yet. Seven tells me that's six, seven. Uh, this is eight, seven, eight. The other digit here is a nine. I don't know, the, uh, am I gonna get some kind of weird pattern here that I can't, oh no, hold on, seven, eight makes seven, eight. Eight seven. Um, I don't. Mm, oh, nine makes this one. Nine makes this nine. Uh, what do I know? Five, seven, eight, six. Uh, this is six or eight. Five, six. That's eight. Six, eight. Uh, five, six, seven. Five is here. Six is here. Seven is here. Uh, did I do it? Oh no, I broke it. Sixes, what did I, okay. Uh, oh shoot, hold on. Uh, what did I do wrong? Hopefully it's something that I can fix. Five, six, five, six, eight, seven, no, it's already broken. What did I do? What did I do? Oh my goodness. Um, I'm sorry. Sorry if I can find this. This is not my week, I think. Uh, let's see, it's already broken here. Four makes this five, six. What do I have left here? I need a one. One would have to go here. I need seven, eight, nine here. That would have to be nine. Seven, eight in those. Well, let me let's see what I did that might be wrong. That's a I mean, given if everything else is correct, which it might not be. That would have to be seven. That would be six. Does that make this eight? Is that where I messed up? No, because this is a seven eight pair. One two yeah, that's a seven eight pair. But I see a seven, so that's eight. That's seven eight. Um. Let's see. Yeah, that would be five. That would be four. So that's not it, because I need, that would still have to be one, nine. What do I put here? Uh, wait, hold on. Did I put it? Yeah, now this, 
Oh, that's the mistake. Sorry, that's a really that's a really bad mistake. I just, I think I just typoed here. I put a one here. Looking at this one, I meant to put a nine here. I meant to put nine one, but I put one nine. Sorry, nine one. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. That has to be the nine because I need a nine in the row. Um, no, that can't be nine either. Oh no, so I broke it earlier than this, right? Because I still have one and nine seeing this. So this already has to be a one nine pair because I need eight here. Um, still broken. Oh, hopefully it's a mistake like that that I don't feel too bad about. I mean, I feel, yeah, hold on. Four, nine. That's already broken. Because what I put here? Eight would have to go here, and that's be one or nine. I'm already broken here. Did I do something bad with this column logic? Where does one go? Not there, not there, has to go here. Where does four go? Not here, has to go there. That it has to be seven, eight, or nine. Nine, yeah, so it's before that. Um, does this not have to be nine? Why did I say that has to be nine? Maybe that's the mistake. Yeah, I think that's the mistake. There's no reason it has to be nine. Why did I say that? Not sure why I said that. Okay, let's try it again from here. A huge apology is this I'm having a tough week I guess so let's go up here and say that has to be eight um, so what I've left here is one nine that has to be nine that has to be one I need a one down here but one so by Sudoku that's a one I still need a four here that's a four now that can't be nine so that's got to be a nine this has to be a five no that is why so it's before this even oh my goodness what did I do wrong here? Is that five errantly placed? Why did I put a five there? Because of Sudoku. No, so that five is fine. That definitely has to be seven, eight, or nine from the other markings. That had to be four. That had to be two, right? Yeah, by Sudoku. That. Maybe it's this 3, 2 logic. Maybe I'd place threes wrongly. Um, oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's definitely it. Um, so here, I don't know why I excluded this as a possibility for three. So yeah, those are all still possibilities for three. OK, that's the mistake. I'm sorry. Um, it's so funny. I feel like the whole puzzle is like this thing. Uh, which was so wonderful, and I I messed up the I just messed up basic Sudoku by trying to go too quickly. Um, so sorry about that. Let's see if we can if we can continue on. Um, I need an eight here, but now it's now it's a mm, I have this extra space here for eights. Didn't have I need seven and eight in this box, which have to go in here. Um, all right, let's let's start over. One's not start over, but one has to go here. Uh, one has to go here now, which goes here. And now I'm done with ones, twos. Uh, I give you those two and here, so not there. So those are twos. Threes, I get this bent set of threes. Fours has to be there still. This is seven, eight, or nine. I need a six here with the other seven, eight, or nine. So that completes seven, eight, nine here. So what's this? That has to be five, right? Yeah. If I said, okay, that's five. Five has to be here somewhere. Uh, let's continue with fours. Four has to be there. Four has to be there. Um, four has to be there. I'm done with fours. Fives. Here, um, here, and here. Uh, oh, here actually. So those, those, so those are all fives. 
that's a six. Um, that's a five. Sixes. Uh, that has to be a six, which means that's a six, which means that's a six, which means um, I get this bent set of sixes here. So what's, oh no, so, so what did I say? This has to be a six? No. Six, six, six. Six has to go in one of these. Um, where somehow I found a six somewhere. Hold on, six. Yeah, because of that. Six, six. That has to be a six. That has to be a six. And then the rest are like a bent wing of some kind. Sevens. I have no sevens except for that one. Um, one is here. One is here. One is here. One is here. Here. So actually, I need a seven. Well, this is seven, eight, or nine. This has to be nine. This has to be nine. Which makes this nine, this seven, eight, seven, nine. This has seven, eight here, so that's seven, eight. That has to be seven. Uh, I need, that makes this eight, seven. That's not eight anymore. That's eight. The other digit here is a nine. I see that. So that's three. That's nine. That's three. The uh, other three goes here. That's nine. No, I don't need a three. I already have a three. I already have a three here. Why am I marking threes there? Nine. Yeah, can't do more than that. That has to be a six. This is seven or eight, but not eight. Seven, eight, seven. Seven's got to go there. This is eight or nine. This is three or nine. Uh, I need six and eight here somewhere. Eight, nine. Nine, six, eight, six. Whoops. Uh, four, six, eight. Is that right? Oh, thank goodness. Uh, again, huge apologies. I really like this puzzle. I love this. I love. I love the kind of winnowing down of these counting digits, these counting circles. Um, but I just can't see, I can't do regular Sudoku apparently is, is, the, is the takeaway here. Um, anyway, thank you so much for the puzzle. Thanks for watching. Um, apologies to both Viking Prime and Marty Sears for uh, some, some mistakes on this puzzle and the last puzzle, but uh, hopefully, uh, I don't know, hopefully it was good enough. Uh, have a good one. See you later.